From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Shea has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Authorities just revealing an elaborate theft ring that investigators say all started with a Department of Children and Family Services employee. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office saying Bertanisa Garcia passed along personal information to a network of thieves. DCFS says there are upwards of 2,000 victims around the state. A voting rights group is now raising money to help pay fees that could prevent former convicts from voting under a new Florida law. The Florida Rights Restoration Coalition saying on Tuesday it hopes to raise $3 million through fundraising. A $5,000 tip given to a Clearwater waitress was actually left by a woman trying to get back at her boyfriend. Deputies say Serena Wolf was mad because her lover would not buy her a plane ticket to New York. So she allegedly went to eat, paying the check with his card and then leaving that outrageous tip. Wolf now faces grand theft charges. And now here's Shay with your forecast. Shay. Rain chances are unlikely overnight tonight. You'll be waking up tomorrow morning. Most of our temps in the upper 70s to low 80s near the coast and around Tampa Bay. It's going to start feeling like we're in the triple digits anywhere from late morning, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning on through the day, unless you're lucky enough to get some rain cooled air moving through your neighborhood. We will see a few more showers and storms developing throughout the afternoon tomorrow as early as noon across Tampa Bay and elsewhere, and then they'll be tapering off just after sunset. Sunset will still make it to highs across uh, Tampa Bay and all the suburbs in the low to mid 90s. All right, thanks, Shay. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.